Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today Google released Android 15 QPR1 Beta 2 that I have here on my Pixel 8 Pro to show you each and every new change. So without further ado, let's jump in. Let's start with the build number. It's AP41.240823.009. On a side note, if you like any of the wallpapers I'm using in this video, you can get them through the wallpapers by in-depth tech reviews app and the download link is in the description. I will be also adding 12 new exclusive wallpapers to the app at the time of publishing this video as shown now on the screen. And now let's take a look at the new features. Before starting, let me give a quick shout out to Mesha Rahman for sharing a lot of these new features on his Twitter account that you will find its link in the description below. To show you the differences between the previous version of Android 15 and the QPR1 Beta 2, on the left I have the Pixel 7 Pro running the previous beta versions of Android 15 and on the right I have QPR1 Beta 2. So let's start with the home screen. The first change you will notice here is the opening and the closing apps animations. For example, when I open the same app on both, you'll notice here that it's slightly faster in QPR1 Beta 2. Not only this, but when I quit the app, you will notice here a blur effect happening when I quit the app. So if you look closely here in the center, you will see it blurs the background and then goes back to the home screen while here it uses the same animation that we used to have in Android 14. The second change is when you expand folders, you will notice that the overlay card is now shifted towards the bottom to completely cover the text underneath it. The lock screen also got a small tweak to the transition between the always on display and the lock screen. So if you take a look closely, you will see this new bouncy animation when compared to the previous version. So here is how it looks on QPR 1 Beta 2. It goes slightly down before transitioning to the lock screen, which is not the case with the previous versions. Next, the quick settings and notification shade. And the first change is related to the screen recorder. So for example, when I tap on both, here you will see a single app got renamed to record one app, and the start recording button is now called next. And when you tap on both, you will see here that the icon at the top is now different as well. And the text says choose app to record while previously it says share or record an app. Not only this, but when I start recording, you will notice here that the countdown is now showing on the left and it's much bigger. Plus, now you have the ability to tap on the pill and to stop the recording from here. Plus, the entire screen option got renamed to record entire screen. The text at the top is different and also the quick note at the bottom got slight changes here, either when you choose record one app or the entire screen. Moving to the notifications, if you are playing something in full screen view like a YouTube video, for example, and then receive a message, you will see this redesigned compact design for the notifications. And this is how it looks when you expand it. But previously we used to get a full sized banner in the previous versions of Android 15. Next, the keyboard. You will notice here that the button at the bottom right corner now looks like a language button. From here you can tap it to switch quickly between different languages and other keyboards if you have multiple ones. But previously tapping on it will give you this overlay card to change your selection. If you want to get the same thing now, you need to tap and hold on it and it will give you a redesigned card which is shifted towards the bottom for easier access and also it has a settings button that takes you right away to the current keyboard settings. Now let's move on to the settings which got a complete redesign in QPR1 Beta 2. The first thing you will notice here is the header at the top is completely gone and the search bar is at the very top and it's much thicker as well. The second difference is the background is now in white color at all times, regardless which color palette you have under the wallpaper and the style app. Google menu is now the first option at the top and things are grouped together in a logical order instead of being stacked on top of each other like before. So when you take a look at the options, you will find here that apps, notifications, sound and vibration, display and touch, and wallpapers and style app are now in their own group while previously they were ordered differently and when you keep scrolling you will see now storage battery system and about phone are in another group which used to be at the very bottom of the screen then we have the uh, things related to the password security and the privacy location and so on and so forth and at the very end we have the accessibility and the tips and support 
I also spotted this really cool animation in the new settings app. When you tap on any of the menus and then go back, it will show you where you previously tapped on this menu. Plus it memorizes where your finger tapped the screen. So for example, when I tap it on the left, it shows here on the left. When I tap it on the right, it shows on the right. And even when you go inside multiple menus, it will do the same thing, which will help you in knowing the sequence of steps you followed to reach this place. Google also removed the fill color around some of the horizontal buttons you will see under the Wi-Fi settings, for example. The same applies to the Bluetooth. When you go to the settings of any of the devices you have, you will see the same thing. Another nice addition to QPR1 Beta 2 is the new external display settings. When you mirror your phone's screen using USB-C, you will get the option to rotate 90, 180, or 270 degrees in addition to the ability to change the resolution, but unfortunately it was grayed out in my case. Under settings and then accessibility and then color and motion, you will see this new intensity slider under the color correction when you activate it from here. The notification cooldown feature that we first saw in one of the betas of Android 15 and then disappeared now made a partial comeback with QPR1 beta 2 and you can only locate the feature by searching for it and here's how the redesigned page looks like. It will give you an explanation about how the feature works using this new graphical representation and a new description at the top as well. But unfortunately there is no toggle to turn the feature on or off just yet. So that's everything new related to the phones. Now let's talk about a couple of new features related to tablets that I couldn't activate on my phone even after adjusting the smallest width to 600. But let me show you Mesha Rahman's account. He says here that now you can activate the desktop windowing and as per this screen recording, now you can open any app in a free window as if you are on a desktop which will allow you to open multiple apps at once and give you a desktop-like experience as shown in this video. The second one is the lock screen widgets for tablets. To activate the feature, you need to swipe from the right edge of your lock screen and it will give you a customized button where you can add the widgets you want and reorder them as well. But unfortunately, I couldn't get the feature activated on my phone, so you can give it a try on a tablet and let me know in the comments if you are able to add lock screen widgets or not. Last but not least, QPR1 Beta 2 comes with tons of bug fixes as shown now on the screen, so you can pause the video and go through them if you want. So here are the developer and user reported issues. Then we have other resolved issues. And finally, Bluetooth resolved issues issues. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new features I wanted to show you in Android 15 QPR1 Beta 2. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.